Yes, welcome to Geo Nutsu. In today's video, we are covering the topic of slope elements. Now, what is a slope? A slope is simply a curved and inclined surface which forms the boundary of landforms such as mountains. Now, slope elements simply refers to parts of a slope, right? There is four slope elements. Right at the top, I have the crest, followed by the cliff, the talus slope, and then lastly, the pediment. It's formed the crest, cliff, talus, pediment. Pediment. Okay. Before I even go to these slope elements, you need to know the difference between these two. Slope A and slope B. Right? We have something known as a convex slope and a concave slope. Right? If you look at slope A, you can see that it curves outwards. You can see that the curve is outwards. When, when the slope curves outwards, we call that a convex slope. A convex slope, it curves outwards. And then in B, it curves inward. You can see that we call that, that a concave. A concave slope, right? Now, if you look at the first slope element, let's look at it. Let's look at this slope here at the top, right at the top. Is it convex or concave? Yes, it is convex, right? So our crest has a convex uh, slope. There's a convex what? Slope. It is made up of thin soils, right? So, so the dominant geomorphological process there is soil creep. Soil what? Creep. Right? The crest is made up of thin soil. So the dominant or the main geomorphological process there is soil what soil creep you know what soil creep when we move on to mass movement uh the second one you can see this one is almost a vertical vertical bare rock right this rock okay, here this vertical part here is known as the cliff it is known as the cliff that's the second uh, slope element now the cliff has alternative names you can call it the cliff you can call it the free face slope or you can call it the scarp slope you can see that the second one has three names the cliff the free face or the scarp slope or the scarp slope the main geomorphological process that takes place at the cliff free face or scarp is rock falls right we have rock falls right rock falls now the next slope element is our talus slope. Our talus slope also has alternative names. You can call it the debris slope or the scree slope. Debris slope or the scree slope. Here the weathered material from the crest and the cliff all accumulate at the talus slope. You can see that these are all the rocks. I told you they are rock falls here. Now they have accumulated at the talus slope. So their main geomorphological process that happens at the tenor slope is deposition is deposition you can see that because at the crest the main geological process was soil creep i told you the crest is made up of thin soils right now the second um slope element is the cliff also known as the free face or the scarp slope the main geomorphological process there is rock falls right i told you this is a vertical cliff right it's made up of bare rock made up of bare rock and then the, the third uh, slope element is the tail slope also known as the debris slope or the scree slope right where that material from the crest and the cliff accumulate at the tail slope you see these rocks they have accumulated at Tellus slope, so they have deposited there. That's why I'm saying that the main geomorphological process at the Tellus slope is deposition. It is deposition. Let me remove this. It is deposition, right? And then lastly, we have the pediment. You can see the pediment is a very gentle slope, right? Sediments or fine material from the Tellus slope accumulates at the pediment. It accumulates where? At the pediment fine material or fine sediments from the tunnel slope accumulate at the pediment the pediment is a gentle slope at the bottom right pediment is slightly concave slightly what concave it 
curves inwards slightly right remember my crest is convex it curves outwards but my pediment is slightly concave the main geomorphological process there is erosion it is erosion by running water erosion by running water okay if you look at this this slope here there's the slope but if you look at this part between the talus and the pediment we have a change in gradient there right we have a sharp change in gradient now in geography when, when there is a sharp change in gradient we call that a leak point a leak what point you can see the gradient changed drastically there it changes drastically there's a sharp change in gradient in geography we call that our leak point a leak point is a sharp change or a change in gradient in gradient you can see how steep it was but when you go to this place uh, to this part it became gentle to form our pediment right so that change in gradient is known as the leak point it is the leak point okay now as jog uh, for exam purposes uh, you get all four slope elements right but not every slope has all four elements not every slope has all four elements let me give you an example let's look at this slope let's look at this slope this is this is slope a slope a has all the slope elements now let me draw another one on this line this side slope b slope b has altern alternating uh, rocks there's a hard rock followed by a less resistant rock a soft rock and then there's a hard rock again followed by uh, my soft rock right if you look at this slope here, it doesn't have all the slope elements. Now, for example, let's look at the first one. The first one is our vertical, uh, vertical cliff, right? Our hard rock. So obviously, <coughs> the first one is our vertical rock, which is our cliff. Our vertical rock is our cliff. We know below the cliff, what do we have? We have our talus slope. Our talus slope. Below our cliff, we have our Tellus slope. Can you see that? But below our tellus slope, we're supposed to have a pediment. There is no pediment. We have another hard rock which is vertical. The vertical slope there is our cliff again. Can you see that? Our cliff again. Followed by our tellus. Below the cliff, we have a tellus slope. Can you see that? Now, this slope has alternating rocks. There's a hard rock, soft rock, hard rock, soft rock. So it doesn't have all the slope elements. Because it has a cliff right here. Now below the cliff is obviously a talus. Below a talus, we're supposed to have a pediment. But since there's another hard rock, there's a vertical cliff again. So this is our cliff. Our slope element is a cliff, followed by a talus again. Can you see that? Can you see what I'm talking about? Not all slopes will have all four slope elements, right? But in most cases, we always give you a diagram which has all the slope elements. But just as geographers, we need to know that.